Yo, 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 yo. Alright, peeps. It is year two, episode ten. Still undefeated after that crazy overtime game that we had against USC. Lindsey did get injured at the end, but he's back this week, so our Heisman candidate is going to be able to help us out. Taking on another Pac-12 conference member in Oregon State. I'm going to crush these beavers. Ha <laughs> ha. Made a joke. Anyways, so just to let you guys know what's going on here. We're going to go into the top 25. All right, so you've got Clemson, Nebraska, then us. We have one vote for number one. Remember, this is pre-college playoff. So I really would love to get a crack at Clemson, even though that's the school I went to. But Nebraska needs to lose to somebody um, because I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to jump them, even though we've got pretty much three more games left. And not including this one. So definitely got to come out with a win and um, see what happens from there. But just uh, put a highlight on our people here. Our freshman, redshirt freshman, Sam Neuer. He is a 77 overall. I like taking guys that aren't expected to do well and just perform with them. Thrown for 2,460 yards, 26 touchdowns, 13 picks. Not where I want them, but still better than most. Uh, Lindsey, of course, almost uh, 1,900 rushing yards for 17 touchdowns. He had 27 rushing touchdowns last year, so it's gone down a little bit. Evans has run for 243. We'll have him back next year. Neuer's run for 123. Frazier's run for 18 and four touchdowns. And Montez is... 14 so we don't have anybody in the negative now Shea Fields he's got 718 yards receiving six touchdowns and the surprise of the season is Marvin Covington the freshman wide receiver that we did not expect to commit to us he's got 650 yards receiving seven touchdowns after him is Jay McIntyre Solid slot receiver. I expect to, you know, see him kind of pick it up these last couple weeks. Because against USC, he had like 60 or 70 yards receiving. Then after that, it kind of like goes up and down. <coughs> Bobo's got a couple hundred. And um, the guy that I really want to include is our tight end. But I am not seeing him for some reason. Ah, Keeney. He's got five touchdown uh, catches on the season. Now, he has trouble breaking away from coverage because he's so big. But 6'6", six 222, six, that's not like a huge tight end. But hopefully we can get him involved because we got recruits coming to visit. And maybe, uh, let's see. Yeah. No, no, we got to go to recruiting. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'll show you who's visiting. And one of these turds locked us out. Ali Calhoun, Scott Brooks, and Corey Ellis. Ali Calhoun, we're behind Florida State. He's the number one wide receiver in the nation. So we need to get over 250 yards passing. Scott Brooks is also visiting. And, but he narrowed down his decision. So I don't know if we'll have an impact. Lee Mays, mm, we're not in the race, but it could help. And Daniel Douglas, a defensive end that I picked up. These these are just guys that I'm using to shore up. Of course, the center. Um, rush for over 100, pass for over 250. And Wendell Parsons, eh, he's going to be interested in it. So, pretty much the big one, Ali Calhoun. And Scott Brooks, we had him unlocked. So, it's just kind of like, well, you locked us out before your visit, so that's kind of your fault. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want to come to number four team in the nation. Or number three team now, but, oh well. Let's get it on.
Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese It's Dave. not Reese raining, Dave. finally. Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oregon State's been really struggling. The losing streak just seemingly continues to grow, and just when they think they sitting on top of the pack 12. Can they find the right answer in this one? That does it for us here on the internet. All right, Washington State, Stanford, California, Washington's right. It's good that Washington's ranked. We're on the campus of the University of Colorado. Folsom Field is the setting for today's great matchup. And now it's time for the game. They're going to need about three yards. I'll run the option play in a minute. See how it works out. Good no way at the two. A 40 yard rush. Yes, sir. Easy. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. Touchdown drive. The last 568 yards will take it. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the he feels he's himself a cage. And he's only got four catches. That's nothing. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he is I tried to get rid of it. Brad, that was a That's big a hit on the yards. quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds nine. from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Just over two minutes in the game. And two. Go. X7. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they and fourth and six. After the kick, we'll go for it. The defense credit. They held him short. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Light a fire skill. Activate head. Yes, sir. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the game. Covington at now. Covington catch that ball. Exploit the defense with a pass. Nice job defensively here, forcing the incompletion. That makes it second and ten. I don't even know why I'm trying to pass it. Shouldn't be trying to run it. It's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Oregon State will use their final timeout. That'll make it 35. Okay. They come out in a five wide set. What do we got, Cal? Yeah. And they make the stop around the five yard There we go. How many yards does he get? He's got a hundred, yes, got one. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. Can I get the touchdown? On the 
Who oh, closing team? Yes, sir. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two point conversion. Just under two to go in the game. They don't get it. Try to drop a safety bomb on him. Don't know why. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. All right. We we'll got to the end of the game. There we go. There you go, Lindsay. Good job, buddy. And consecutive wins plus 500 XP. Ooh, yeah, we got ourselves an upgrade, Bray. Alright, let's go check out the stats. Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. Who oh, no, not a highlight. I'm going to go to stats. Player stats. Neuer, 30, 39, 364, five touchdowns, four picks. E. 213 for Lindsay, two touchdowns. 121 for Keeney, 109 for Covington. Kenny had four touchdowns. That's what's up. All right, y'all. We go to 10-0. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later.